Hello the boat show lovers! This behind me is the Khan Yachting Festival, one of the leading in-water boating events of the season. If you're looking for the key players in the boating world, this is where you'll find them. In fact, every year they gather here in this breathtaking bay to discover, launch and premiere some of the best boats in the world. Since we mentioned key players, I have to mention one of the most reliable and authentic companies here, Y Yachts. They describe themselves as a very honest company because their goal is to create yachts where you can spend quality time with your family and friends. Because ultimately, they want you to know that you made a quality investment. Michael Schmidt is the founder of Y Yachts. His name is Nanu in the field. Not only is he a shipbuilder, but he's Admiral's Cup winning skipper and helmsman. He invented the concept of freedom when it comes to sailing solutions. What does that mean? You're about to find out. The concept of freedom is that you do what you want to do and nothing else. And that you don't be being forced into something where somebody thinks you should do this. We as boat builders are where we try to make concept for, for customer, we always have to try something else. Otherwise we repeat everything. The goal is to make sailing boats which sail because I think what happened in the last 20 years is uh, a sailboat is completely something different. Uh, a sailboat should sail in light wind, uh, it should perform nicely and it should be simple because a lot of people forget that you have so many dimensions on a sailboat, much more than on a, on a power boat, uh, and this all must function. And the more technique you have, the more you're a slave of the not functioning technique because technique is never working always. So we were trying to simplify the boats, which is very difficult. Wyatt's mission is to be ahead of their time, which is why they develop yachts that are easy to sail and maintain, spacious, elegant, high tech, contemporary, but with a classic touch. I think important is to explain people what a sailboat means, I, as I explained before, simplicity and design. So I think a boat must, must be the beauty uh, in a way. So I think it must be our mission where we love sailing. Let's create something nice. Our aim is try to combine uh, elegance and the simplicity and also the modernity with the classic idea of the boat. So um, we have a different approach with very simple design. Uh, our philosophy is keep it simple. So very simple but at the same time we would like to reach the functionality and I think this is the reason why we are really different. We are trying to adapt uh, our interior design to the new way to live a boat. The brand chose the Khan Yachting Festival for the world premiere of their latest full custom model, Trip 90. The construction design of this full custom 90 footer is by the brilliant American designer Bill Tripp. The interior design that is minimalist and open cut is by Winch Design of London, who was inspired from the United States East Coast style and mid-century Scandinavian trends. The use of the soft leathers and light oak wood creates a very pure, elegant atmosphere. The owner of this yacht plans to use it for cruising and worldwide racing, but we of the Boat Show are lucky enough to get to check it out before it sets sail on an Atlantic crossing. And who better to tell us all about it if not Bill Tripp, the designer? The concept of the boats between Michael and myself, we reached a, a point in time in our careers where we thought we should be bringing more people into sailing. That sailing is such a great sport, it's, sailboats are so attractive, and yet the motorboat market continues to take from us. We said, what are we doing wrong? We're making the boats too complicated. So we're trying to make the boats simple, clean, beautiful to look, like, look at, elegant, and easy to use, and boats you can sail around the world. You know, and take your family, feel safe, have the boat be fast, exhilarating. Uh, we use very linear elements in the boat so that when everywhere you're on the boat, you have a very long line of sight. You can look at the headstay 
and appreciate that you're following the head stay to your next destination. It's something you're on the boat, you don't need to leave the boat, you want to use the boat. It's a sport, it's participatory, it's exciting, it's a toy, it's all of these things. We don't need more than what we have here. And then you go to great places. On this boat, we make the boat narrow on the waterline, really wide on the deck, so you get all of this great space up here and it doesn't interfere with how the boat sails. It actually helps how the boat sails. It doesn't make the boat look too boxy. And you come on board and there's this feeling of freedom that you're not trapped, you're not enclosed, that you've got room to move. If you look around the back end of the boat, we tried to keep it really open, inviting. When you step on the boat, you feel space and that captures and eventually it focuses down to the center here and then you go down below and even when you're down below you really haven't left. You've got light 360 degrees, you're still in the same harbor, you're still participating in where you've gotten to. What we are doing with an enormous rig and with the lift keel and the carbon hull, in the end we're harnessing the wind, you know, and then we're making an adventure, you know, but uh, not exactly relaxing but not only exhilarating it is somewhere we live between these two boundaries we want the boat to be exciting to sail they've had the boat going 18 knots so far the boat will go 25 and we want the people to be the owners and the crew to be comfortable while that's happening we know the boat will take care of them that's monohulls do that and this boat is really well built i'm so happy with how why yachts has done this boat so far that we know that the boat is strong when we put the mast in and tension it. There's, a, um, there's 50 tons of load on the rig. We wind the shrouds down. The boat didn't make a sound. We know then, we know the boat is really well built. It's, so we get both worlds. We get the engineering side. We try to make that invisible so that you don't see everything that's gone into it. And what you're left with is the experience of the beauty. Y Yachts not only develops full custom boats, but even semi-custom ones, such as Y7, Y8, and Y9. The Y7 is part of the smallest model. It's a 70-footer with a displacement of about 29 tons and 300 square meters of sail area. This yacht is perhaps the most popular one because it was designed for family vacations and can be operated by just two people or even just one. Even the Y8 and the Y9 are generating a lot of interest. When Michael first told me what he was going to do, he had a vision for building boats that were the boats that you saw you would want to sail. And that's my design vision. So we teamed up and first we did it on the Y7 and that's come out really well and now we've had this opportunity with the 90 and now there are two 90s in build that are like jazz, they're developments off of this boat, they're not the same, each one will have its own personality. The hardest thing is to make things simple. Uh, Mark Twain once said to a friend, I wanted to write you a short letter, but I didn't have time. <laughs> so the letter was very long. And design, you start out and there are all of these conflicting elements, and you keep trying to remove them, take them away, take them away, take them away, until you get the simplest thing you can. And that is how the houses on both these boats, we try to make them really clean, very linear, something that expresses movement. And when you look at the boat, maybe you understand what the boat's for. The boat is to go. It is, it is to move, it is not to sit at a dock. You have to maintain the quality, you must have uh, the structure and the company and for me and the people working here, it's just also a passion that we do this. I think there's a big change in thinking. Um, when I see my grandchild or my daughters, how they are now looking at the environment, it's also of course changed my thinking a little bit. Uh, and I think, yes, I think I would not feel so good maybe to consume 100,000 liters of fuel in a powerboat just to go from A to B, which is also normally boring, uh, because uh, what is happening there, nothing. And with a sailboat, I think there's always action, something is happening. Um, this is a diff completely different art of traveling. I think it's more the art of traveling. The other one is, yeah, I don't know how to describe it. I have respect to some powerboats, 
which are really nice, but this is maybe 10%. Wyatt's DNA combines simplicity, easy sale, elegance, and performance. And I think we'll be hearing more and more about this brand and their one-of-a-kind sailing yachts in the years to come. See you next time. Always here, always on The Boat Show.